everyone and welcome back on my channel uh, normally I uh, make uh, things in my uh, on my channel uh, that I see in the shop so I search for pictures online that you can buy at top shop or forever Tony or whatever uh, shop it is and the things that I like I uh, make screenshots and we're gonna recreate that what we see and uh, I'll teach you how to make the pattern and we're gonna recreate it at the end you have just the garment that we saw in the shops uh, but this video we're gonna recreate this dress because I have it for quite some time I really like it the only thing is as you if you have seen my channel before uh, I'm not really of the black anymore I'm more of the white the soft pink the light colors and uh, I really love this black one but it's just not my color so I want to recreate it in another color and I showed you in my former video I needed a jersey one and this is the only jersey that I had and you see it is still rather dark and then luckily I found a piece of uh, jersey that I had left from a top that I made before and it's this really nice floral one and I have just enough to make this dress out of it so I'm gonna make two dresses this time uh, and to show you what this dress is like it has this bust top that on the back has uh, elastic, a rather bright, broad elastic and that's your whole back part and the nicest thing that I really like, it is high waisted, but it's more than high waisted, it's more, um, oh I don't know now the word in English, I'll put it down in the screen. So it's high, it's just under the bust, the skirt begins, so when you have a bit of a tummy, you don't see it because this just hangs loose from the bust down and it is very nice and flattering. And I really like the back because this is loose and hanging, but it's not really low because my waist is here, just where my uh, dress starts there is my waist so it's not really that low that your butt is showing but I really like this back part so uh, I'm gonna make it um, the darker one with also black uh, elastic and the lighter one with white and this one uh, closes up with uh, like bra uh, closure so I'm gonna try to find that too otherwise I will cut the bra and then I use that for my closure because I need something and I couldn't find it yet in the store so we're gonna make this dress it's very easy to do and it's, uh, I think it's very nice. Uh, I made these lace straps on it because um, at the end that I really wasn't having this with the dress. I thought maybe when I put lace straps on, on it, I don't do it with the next ones. But if you think that you like it, then you can do it by just some, some lace and just sew it on. Very easy to do. So if you like it, you can do that. But I won't do it. I will just make the plain dress. And uh, I think it looks very nice. So let's go on to the tutorial. So for the pattern, you're gonna use, uh, you're gonna need your measuring tape because we're gonna measure over your bust. So these are the uh, patterns that we need to make. This is the outer part. This is the facing. And what you need to measure is your bust size over the biggest part of your bust, but just from side to side. So not all the way around, just from left to right. Um, and that size minus six is this width and uh, what you also can do is take your under bust so that is the size under your boobs uh, where your bra band sits and uh, I use that but when you have um, a larger cup then you can better take your measuring and um, minus six so see what is uh, nicest it is stretchy material so it doesn't have to be really precise I take my underbust for the width of this but see what you can do otherwise you take your bust minus six and for the top part that's for both these uh, patterns and for the top part you measure um, over your bust so from your underbust to where you want your dress to end over the biggest part of your uh, breasts and um, for this one it is that measurement plus six and for the facing it is that, that measurement minus three. So that is this width of both the patterns. And then for the sides, um, this one is 13 because we're gonna gather this up. And the facing is seven and a half. Um, when your measurements are really very different from mine, um, I think mine is 39 if I remember correctly. When you have really much, yes, 39, uh, larger or smaller chest than I have, then I would also adjust these two sizes. But when you are just about the same, then you can go with 13 
and seven and a half. So that is for this. Make a nice, nicely curved. And as I said, we're gonna gather this, and then it goes on top of that. And the facing is there as a bit of um, giving it strength to your top. And then for the skirt, um, because I take my underbust measurements, the this is the front part. The top of this part, it's on the fold, is half that measurement that I had, the underbust measurement. When you take the other measurement, minus six, then this is your top part for the front on the fold. So it's doubled. And for the back, it is that same measurement, but on the length, you add two times four. And that is because we're going to fold that in as the facing for the back that is hanging down. So give that an extra 8 centimeters on the top on your length. And of course, take any length you like and flare it out to the bottom as much as you like and as much as fabric as you have. Oh, and for the front skirt, I forgot to tell you that I'm not going to do the gathering underneath the bust because I just saw my intro <laughs> video and I thought that it really looked that I was pregnant and I don't have really a tummy or a belly. So I don't need that extra room for, uh, for my fabric, so I decided not to do the gatherings under the bus. But if you like to do, uh, then add some centimeters to your width. Uh, I would say 15 in total or something. See when you gather your, your fabric how it looks and how much you want to, uh, to do. So if you like to do it, just do that. I decide not to because I think on my uh, body it looks better if I don't do the gatherings. So we're going to start with the top part and we're going to put the uh, facing and the uh, top uh, pattern together. I put some interfacing on my facing part to give it a little bit more structure. And I have uh, interfacing that is stretchy so the fabric holds its stretch but it gives it some more strength. So I'm going to pin this down to the whole top part. I'm going to sew that on and then I'm going to top stitch um, the seam on the one side, so on the facing side and I'm gonna uh, sew on some elastic on the top part, not on the bottom but just on the top part and I'm gonna use uh, some um, swimwear elastic for it because that is um, for this type of thing I think more nice than a normal um, uh, elastic because this holds the shape very well and you don't have to stretch it out but it just uh, makes that your fabric doesn't stretch too much or when it stretch uh, much that it the elastic will take over so don't stretch it out when you uh, sew it on just uh, hold it and sew it on to the whole top part and I use the white one for this fabric I also have black one for the other fabric together flip it open and lay down the side of the biggest part on top of the top of the skirt this is the top of the skirt and we're gonna pin them together and then we're gonna sew that seam so that the outside of the top is attached to the front skirt like this and when you fold it open and you fold the facing inside you see that is nicely attached oh and when you do the gatherings with the skirt of course first gather the top of the skirt of the front skirt gather it in to the width of your uh, top and then pin them together and then you can sew that
Now what I did, I gathered the top part of the top, so the, the widest one of the two, not the facing, but just this part. And um, I'm gonna pin my elastic on top of that. And unfortunately, my elastic is smaller than uh, the, the width it should be uh, when it is finished. But I couldn't get broader elastic than this, so I have to do with it. So I was thinking, can I better... Um, Align it with the top part of the dress, of the top, or with the bottom part, and I'm not really sure. So I thought, well, okay, then I'll gather it as much as wide as the elastic is, and then just make the side uh, as small as the elastic because I think I need um, that support of the elastic both on the top and on the bottom of the top. So I'm not sure if I can um, choose between those two. So I'm just gonna make it as small. As my elastic is but ideally it would be um, the width of my uh, facing so I gather it in a bit more so that I can match my elastic with the end of my top part of the top and I'm gonna um, pin my facing on top of that and then I'm gonna sew that all across and you see I have now not cut my elastic in two already because this is very easy to do and then I can just cut it in the middle uh, later on but now it's not in the way to sew the two ends and then when you flip it open you have nicely the elastic on the back when you flip it back like that and you have your skirt, you have your gatherings here on the top part and the back part that we have to um, sew on the seam of the front and the skirt like this and you can do that with the sewing machine um, then you see the stitch here on the outside I think that's not really that disturbing you can also do the stitch in the seam then you don't see it then you pin this on from the wrong side then you flip it over to the right side so that you can see it and then you sew just straight in the dip of the seam and it looks all, also always very nice so the only thing we have to do is we have to uh, sew on the back part of course of the skirt because now we only have the front and for that we're gonna um, finish the top hem and uh, you make just a small hem. I have to pick my pins out first. This is my top. You just make a small hem by folding it in half a centimeter and then half a centimeter again. And then the top stitch that. And then put it right sides together on the front skirt. And sew the two side seams. And then only do the hemming. And uh, what you can do best is, I think, first sew the side seams of the skirt. And then finish this seam because then you can fold this over onto the side seam and it looks nicer. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna first finish the top of my skirt, then do the side seams and then finish the facing of the top part. And when you pin on the side seams, make sure you fold in the double facing on the back. So I, I put some pins in here. I fold it till there and then again. 4 centimeters in and then again 4 centimeters in and the best is to just pin this down and you don't get problems with that like that then put it on the front skirt and you pin your side seam and then sew it down I'm gonna pin the facing to the seam and I try to give it a little bit of overlap so that I can top stitch it in the seam as I told you before so I pin it down just a little bit further than the seam is
And dress number one. And the floral one. Looking very nice, I think. You can see here with the waffles, you can adjust it just as you like it. That it gives nice uh, pleated effect. And I love the back, the, the draping back. I like that very much. I'm not really a fan of the white elastic because it's a little bit bra-like, I think. So I think I'm going to switch that for a more uh, colored one. But I think that bag looks really, really cute. And I'm sorry for my plasters. That's my plasters for my pain. And they are now in a really awkward place because they are just visible here, just at the place where the elastic is. And then it draws the attention. So when I'm going to wear this dress in public, I must make sure that I uh, put them in another place that they are not visible. But I really like how this uh, how this looks. It's a little bit short, but I didn't have more fabric, so I had to do with it. The other one is longer, so I'm going to show you later on. But you see, in I think 30 minutes, maybe less, you can make a really nice dress. Very nice for vacation. It must be hot for me because this open bag is a lot for me. But I think it looks really nice. And when you have a longer version, I think it's really nice for an evening occasion or something because. I think it's very nice and flattering and uh, I'm glad that I didn't do the pleats here because now for me this feels more comfortable with the other one. Uh, when I saw myself here in the, in the mirror I thought well you look like you're pregnant and I don't really like that. So uh, if you're comfortable with more pleats here then certainly make them. It's very easy to do as you saw but I like more the plain version and uh, I think that suits me more and better. And uh, I'm very happy with this result and I'm going to put on the other one and I'll show you that one too. And the other dress, totally different because of a very different fabric, uh, but also this one's very nice. This is also more my length. I like it when the skirts are longer and uh, well, I'm in love with the back. I like it. I think with this black elastic, it's it's more nice than with the white one. But, but I also have with this dress, it feels very comfortable because it is stretchy, it is loose. You know you are secured here in the back. The white one with the two hooks, I'm not really sure, but it feels very nice. And you can adjust the pleats if you want to. Um, well, I'm, I, I like this dress very much, so I hope you liked it too and you made it and uh, you're happy with it. I'm very happy with the result. And again, no pleats here and it's, it's already a bit too wide for me now, but I, I like it very much. It's very nice and very comfortable and very quick to make. And I had some things for summer to, uh, that I wanted to make and they are also very quick to do. I want to make two skirts that I think you can do in, in even less than half an hour and that means that we have a lot of simple things now but I really like them and I really like them for summer so I want to make them. Um, but I don't know in what order, I don't know if I can make it all but I'll show you what I, uh, what I have and what I want to do. I have this floral uh, skirt, oh it's very bright. better bit if i show you up close you can better see it it's a um just a plain simple thin cotton very nice and i want a, a skirt a simple skirt for over about a little bit uh just to wear over your bikini as a cover up or whatever a long skirt and you can make it all also short if you like to but i like this fabric very much to make just a quick uh, skirt to put on and quick to make then i have some more chiffon black chiffon uh, a thicker one and it's the same one as that i made that wet pants uh, out of uh, so it's a little bit sheer and i want to make a wet dress a uh, wet skirt out of it to uh, also to put on over your bikini or whatever just a quick simple uh, skirt that you have to wear and that you can quickly make now in the summer when you don't want to sit inside too long with, but with sewing i think but you can certainly make them something and then I wanted, because I didn't make a bathing suit this year and I wanted to make one, but also, as I said, I'm not sure if I have the time for it. But I wanted to make something. It can be a bikini, it can be a one piece, maybe a swim dress. I won't tell you, but you will see by then. I have black swim fabric and this light pink, and I have a very nice idea, so I hope I make it. To, uh, to make this uh, and to show you what I had in mind because I saw a picture and it was so much fun so I hope I can make it so this was the dress for this time I hope you liked the dress I hope you recreated love to see pictures if you make something so DM me or send me a picture somehow so that I can see what you made and um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week and I tried in this last clip to get my eyes a little bit 
uh, smaller because I always have those big creepy eyes and they don't know what it is. It might be a medical thing, but they don't know. But it looks really creepy when I see my videos back. So I tried now to hold them smaller, but I don't know if I succeed because it, the, the viewfinder is too far for me to see how I look. So I hope it helped. And so not, I'm sorry for my creepy eyes. I can't help it. They don't know what it is, so I cannot fix it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again next week with one of these tutorials that I showed you. Yes. Bye! Thank you.